Hey guys, good morning! Luke Harrison here from HealthierSouthShields.com and Fitness Camp Academy South Shields. Um, I've heard a lot about this gluten-free stuff um, and I've decided to go around Asda to have a look in the, the free from section and sort of take a couple of pictures. So I've took a couple of pictures of some gluten-free brown bread, some digestive biscuits and some sauce mixed with cheese. See, Gluten is really, really basically, it's it's like an intestinal abrasive, okay? It wears away your intestinal tract. It's like super glue. It what's, it's what makes pizza dough sticky. It's what makes bread sort of that fluffy texture. It's, it's a thickener, all right? It's a thickening agent. But it's not very good for us to digest. It can cause leaky gut, which means uh, our intestines, it can actually wear away over years of abuse. Um, so we don't absorb the nutrients from our food very well. Most people are intolerant to it and they don't know it. It can cause you to be tired and you can lose strength very quickly off it. Um, alongside a, host, a whole host of other things. Um, and everybody responds differently to it. The only way to know if you're intolerant is to have two weeks gluten free. Then go back to gluten and see how you feel. But I want to put a little bit of information out there about this whole gluten free scam. Alright. It's a marketer's wet dream because you guys don't really know that gluten-free it can be not healthy for you all right basically what they do is they brand it they brand it gluten-free they put in free from section uh they tell you that it's totally free from gluten and it's this that and the other and it's health food and blah 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 and they package it differently the only things which are, are usually all right in the, the uh, gluten-free variety are things like gluten-free oats uh knacked bars which are which actively say they're gluten-free the best thing, uh, rice cakes, things like that, the best thing to do, guys, is to have a look on the back of the packet and have a look at the ingredients. If it's stuff you don't understand and there's loads and loads of ingredients, likelihood is it's a load of crap, okay? Uh, you really want to sort of get a bit vain about looking at labels, yeah? You really want to know what you're putting in your body anyway. You don't just want to think, oh, that'll be all right, because if you're not happy with how you're at, at the minute and you're feeling tired, you might be overweight, you're sick... You know, um, you're getting colds all the time. Have a little read of what I actually what actually is in stuff. You might not understand it, but you can tell yourself if I'm gonna go through sort of things to look out for, right? So maybe hopefully you guys can see that I've sort of took a picture of some brown bread and the back of a, a gluten free brown bread. Yeah, so everyone thinks right gluten bread we can't have bread, but I'll get the gluten free variety. So. Here is the ingredients, guys. Water, maize starch, right, which is from corn, which is high, very highly toxic, really. Uh, it's very sprayed. And it's very processed. We've got rice flour. Not done too bad. Soya protein isolate. Soya is very cheap. It's not a particularly good source of protein for the body. Um, we do struggle to digest that. Also, that's usually sprayed with all sorts of pesticides really badly uh tapagoa starch again a simple sugar rapeseed oil yeast thickeners we've got some different thickeners in there black treacle what the hell is black treacle doing in bread um psyllium husk powder i've got no idea what that is sugar again more sugar millet flakes sugar beet fiber salt caramelized sugar syrup preservative glycerol and acidity regulator there, straight away, there's four or five different kinds of sugar just in the bread, right? It's bread. Why does it need all that sugar? Okay, so you really got to think, right, is that particularly a great option? Because surely a freshly baked loaf of bread from the bakers would have less shit in than what this has got. Yeah, even though it's got gluten in, the likelihood is the baker's bread's going to be better for you. And you're wasting your money, you're paying twice the price for something that's not even better for you. Okay. Uh, here's some digestive biscuits, which I took a picture of, um, which again, shocking. Uh, Gluten-free oat flour, that's okay. Uh, milk chocolate, so we've got sugar, uh, cocoa butter, I think I believe that is, uh, dried whole milk, cocoa mass emulsifier. Uh, you've got vegetable margarine, that'll be light, really, lightly hydrogenated, i.e. processed and really bad for the body to digest, really bad fat, margarine. Um... You've got more salt in there. Acidity uh, regulators, some sugar, corn flour, soya flour, partially inverted sugar syrup, raisin agents, and flavoring. Flavoring. Guys, what is flavoring? Okay? That could be anything. That could literally mean anything, okay? 
just says flavour and you've got to be very careful because that could be some very big nasties in there. Uh, and I took a look at some cauliflower cheese, like sauce mix with cheese. Um, and ingredients, maize starch, it's a sugar, maltodextrin, it's a sugar, cheese powder, which is from milk, which again, milk is a sugar basically, skim milk powder, a sugar, salt, yeast extract, flavourings, right? Yeast extract can actually be disguised as MSG, which is monosodium glutamate, which kind of is a chemical which reacts with the brain, which, which makes you want more. It's what's in Chinese food and Pringles, okay? It's, it's very, very bad. It's very toxic for the body, okay? So that could be that. Might not be, though. Might be, might be wrong. Um, on top of that, we've got whey powder, which is derived from milk, again, sugar. Uh, colours, which contain milk, again. Okay, so again, you're looking at like five or six different kinds of sugars just in the cauliflower cheese mix. So it's absolutely crazy, this whole gluten-free scam, guys. It literally is a scam. It's marketers trying to get you to spend three times as much money buying a product that you believe to be healthy for you, right? The only things that I can say are, that are really sort of okay are like gluten-free oats. You look on the back and it just says gluten-free oats, 100%, yeah? Knack bars, they're just made from fruit and nuts, okay? Rice cakes, it's just rice cakes, yeah, that, that's all. That's the kind of things that you're all right. But all these other fancy things, these free from biscuits and free from bread and rolls and things, I wouldn't even bother, guys. If you're going to eat it, just enjoy a proper loaf of bread, freshly baked, okay? Um, don't be led into believing that all this is just just true and like it, marketers have a wet dream over this kind of stuff. So just, just watch what you're eating, guys. Have a little look. Hopefully this video has been informative. I shall speak to you guys over this week. I'll make another video. Uh, if you're not signed to my email list, get over to healthiersouthshields.com. Get yourself there. Free detox plan and sign up with me daily emails for more tips like this. Peace out, guys.